I'm Mayor E. Denise Simmons, candidate for re-election to the Cambridge City Council, and I'm looking for your number one vote on Tuesday, November 7th. You know, Cambridge is my hometown. I've lived here all my life, and it's really a pleasure. You no, know, it's a privilege to be able to work in the city that you love. And when I say work in the city that I love, one of the things that I'm most proud of and the work that I want to continue to do is opening up the doors of City Hall to everyone. One of the things that I did when I was mayor in 2008, and I do now, is I have drop-in hours. Anyone can come into City Hall on a Friday without an appointment and just sit down and talk with the mayor. I've talked to people that have been on the edge of eviction to people who have high and important office because City Hall belongs to everyone. I've opened up the doors of City Hall by having town hall meetings and meeting with various constituency groups because City Hall belongs to the citizens. And so through my senior advisory, a group of individuals that come together to inform me about what the seniors want across the city or the interfaith group meeting with members across the city of the interfaith community, an interfaith community that gives enormous hours of services to our city through meal programs, take cares, drop in. We want to make sure we connect with them. So I meet with the interfaith community on a monthly basis. I also meet on a monthly basis with our small business community. Our small businesses put $40 million of revenue into our coffers every year, and they need to be at our table so that we know how we can continue to help them prosper in our community. That is so important. One of the hallmark issues for me this term it's been around housing, not just this term, but last term, and I want to continue it in the next term. I was able, through the housing committee, to increase our linkage fees. These are fees that developers pay to the city, and that money goes into the Affordable Housing Trust, and the Affordable Housing Trust then turns that those dollars into opportunities to preserve, maintain, and build affordable housing across the city. But that's not all. In addition to that, I worked with the Housing Committee, which is a small committee of the City Council. We worked to increase the inclusionary zoning amount. What does that mean? Instead of getting one unit for every 10, we get now two units for every 10. And we're looking every day on ways to make sure that number gets broader because we want Cambridge to continue to be diverse, not only ethnically, but economically. Now, how do we maintain that diversity? Not just by housing alone. But by looking at wages, how do we improve and increase wages? So this year, I put together a committee that is working on wage equity. The governor signs this into law for next year, 2018. But I said, why wait? Women need to make the same wages as men do for comparable work. I worked hard on the schools by opening the doors of the schools for our parents to have them involved. But in addition, we've had problems with bullying, and sexual harassment. No child should go to school and be fearful. We have put into policies, into place policies and procedures to eradicate that. And I'm really proud of that. I'm also proud that we maintained our schools as sanctuary schools, as we maintained our city as sanctuary city, which was very, very important. I'm glad to be able to do that. Wage equity, housing, education, economic development. This is all the backbone of our city, but it has to be done through the lens of fairness. And I'm proud to have brought the school committee and the city council together, not once, not twice, but three times to work on shared issues, but also to continue collaborations between the bodies. But we also looked at things of diversity and inclusion. Diversity is being invited to the table. Inclusion is making sure you're invited to eat. And I want to make sure we have the diversity and the inclusion. And then lastly, but as important, is working on issues concerning the environment through the lens of environmental justice. We have to make sure that everyone is at the table as we look at climate change and its impact, particularly on its impact on communities of color. It's been a pleasure to serve this city as an elected official as mayor, and I want to continue to do that work, but I can't do it without you. I need your help. I need your number one vote on Tuesday, November 7th. Thank you for tuning in.